हॅलो आय एम डॉक्टर मंजिरी वळसंकर डायरेक्टर भिडे हॉस्पिटल टेस्ट्यू बेबी सेंटर नवी पेठ पुणे टुडे लेट अस टॉक अबाउट सिवियर ऑलिगो अस्थेनो टेराटोझुस्पमिया इन इनफर्टिलिटी विच मीन्स दॅट मेन हू हॅव अ लो स्पम काउंट ॲबनॉर्मल मोटिलिटी ऑफ द स्पम्स ॲज वेल एज ॲबनॉर्मल मॉर्फॉलॉजी ऑफ द स्पम्स सो डू दे हॅव एनी वे आउट इन हॅविंग अ चाइल्ड विथ देअर ओन बायोलॉजिकल स्पम्स लेट अस सी now whenever any patient comes to me saying that she cannot conceive semen analysis is a basic investigation which is an important part in any infertility investigation of the couple now in around 5 to 6% of the men what we find is on semen analysis which is a regular semen analysis three important parameters are checked what is the count of the semen sample that is count of the sperms which should be more than 15 million per ml for a man to conceive naturally the what is the motility of the sperms the motility has to be good enough if of which the rapidly progressive motility has to be more than 40% for the man to have his own biological child as well as what is the morphology which means the structure of the sperm the head neck mid piece and the tail does it have any structural defects in patients who have all these three factors which means a lower count an abnormal motility and an abnormal morphology are termed as oat that is oligoasthenic teratozoospermic men in patients who have less than 10 million count are generally termed as severe oats patients and these patients require assisted reproduction technology to have their own child when a man comes with a severe oat report it is verified again after a gap of 2 to 3 weeks if the same sample again shows similar oats defects then we can subject the man to dna fragmentation index of the sperm in spite of taking medications if there is no improvement and if the dna fragmented sperms are more than 25 to 30% the regular icsi test tube baby is not that great as compared to advanced technologies like pixi which is physiological icsi or testicular sperm aspiration followed by icsi in severe oats patients now medically can we help them of course if we take antioxidants and motility enhancers for 3 months pre treatment there is an improvement of 10 to 12% in all the three parameters which definitely gives an optimum success rate in the ivf icsi cycles diet nutrition and exercise are mainstay in case of increasing the sperm quality as well as quantity in oligospermic men apart from these the patient must refrain from addictions such as tobacco smoking alcoholism which are known to decrease the quality as well as quantity of the sperms so all in all in patients who are severe oligospermic who have tried medical therapy but have no improvement in their sperm parameters it is important that they upgrade the technology to pixi or tisa pixi in such cases may give better results and they will have a child with their own biological sperms thank you